Cornbread. Regular water. Sixty-three percent, getting close. Hmm, using my cornbread for that. Sure. And yeah, use that. Where are we at? Ninety-five percent. We're gonna make it. Food handling too. Cool. Ah, that'll take us to five. Awesome. So we'll get something else useful done. That'll help. Um, let's go focus 46, huh? You got, a, you got a radio on this thing? Hey, we got a stereo. That'll burn power, which we're not making a lot of. That's fine. Toast them and some fruit jam and a yogurt. All right, Baker's Compendium. Ooh, ouch. Enough of that. Hey there, Billy Shark. Eighty six percent. Dark soon. Uh, let's just. Use as much daylight as we can. Not sure we're going to be able to get to sleep. We'll try though. Can we exercise in a vehicle? Uh, miscellaneous workout. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I can't work out with a broken limb. Man. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I guess it's cool that they uh, they incorporated that possibility. Keep slamming down this old butter before it goes nasty. Bulk up our calories. Um. Well, I can't. I can do a candle. I guess we'll do a candle. Keep reading. Food handling four. And we're still not tired. Food handling five. We're going to go through this faster than I expected. Oh, never mind. We're already done. That was a lot of butter. All right, so uh, still not tired. Three in the morning. 
This is gonna... I guess it's not bad if I flip-flop my day-night cycle right now, because we're gonna want to take advantage of the moon. So... <clears throat> Let's, I can't craft in the vehicle. Well, I can. I can start crafting in the vehicle. Then I just have to move the item. So, Scourge. Go for it. We are now proficient in principles of leatherworking. And we're tired. I'm going to keep going. Fab 7. Scourge is on the ground. All right, let's start hitting the other butter, I guess. Downs. Actually. Ah, uh, short of thread. All right, sleepy time again. 87%. Getting so close. Something's making noise. <laughs> hey, zombie. Out of nowhere. Who couldn't see me and couldn't smell me, but somehow manages to stumble directly into my vehicle. Try that again. Yeah, the time is cycling way faster than it used to. They made a, a big improvement in um, processing time when sleeping and crafting and stuff. Now nah, there's no difference in the XP you get. 93%. So uh, if we get 2% during the day passing time and then 5% at night, we might. Might. See, here's the problem. Even when we get rid of the percentage, <laughs> we still got to go from 1 hit point to 18 hit points, which is still going to take a long time. Oh, man, this is so bad. So, so bad. Um, Yeah, we're actually piling through the food at a pretty hefty clip. All my butter's gone. I don't want to do protein rations first. Do a toast them. Start hitting the pickled fish. Ah, uh, she. That up and the swimmer zombie. <laughs> Nothing to read, nothing to craft. Got our fab to seven off that last craft, and we have two of the proficiencies. I'm just gonna pass time. 20 o'clock. Let's pass until daylight to start. Or.
95. Come on, arm. 96. Ah, you had to wake me up. Once again, no particular reason this zombie should have any, any interest whatsoever in this vehicle. No reason for it. <laughs> Chase me off yet again. Now we're not tired again, which sucks. Didn't finish getting all of our healing done. Well, <laughs> my point is, I'm in an open field. How far do you think my scent cloud goes? Six miles in every direction? <laughs> what gets them to within the ten spaces that my scent cloud might actually be around the vehicle? I, I understand that when they get close, they can smell me. That's obvious. I don't care about that part. I want to know why, when I have 400 empty spaces around me, they just just happened to randomly wander to within space of the uh, the, the scent cloud. <laughs> that's the question mark. Not once they get close can they smell me. That that's obvious. Uh, confirm. Stop waiting. No, feel free to keep waiting. Nah, I don't believe radiation does anything to zombies. 99% Still normal body weight and we are tired. All right, good. Oh, I should have put a bandage on it. There we go. Broken limb is mended. Now we're at the one hit point per day stage. <laughs> oh man. This is such a nightmare. I'm still super, super not wanting to go out and about. <laughs> uh, but at least we can fire a gun now, I think. There's some wonky stuff with super low hit points as well. Let's see if it'll let me wheel. Nope, still too weak. <laughs> Uh, still too weak. Good times, good times. <laughs> hey there, Zibido. <laughs> All right, that still sucks. I need to throw a bandage on there. Not that it's going to do much, but we'll we'll go along with the way things are supposed to work. It still says zero percent. Hasn't registered yet. So it'll it'll let me put on the bandage. Really? My antiseptic was okay, there's the others. 
We'll see if that does anything. Let's get some clean water. Uh, eight. So we're coming up on the full moon. We gotta take advantage of that as much as we can. It's gonna be rough with this super low hit point body part though. Oops, forgot to... Ah, here we go again. Right when it got dark. Hey there, listener zombie and shock zombie. Shock zombie is probably a ways, but... It's up to two. Still red. Still too weak. <laughs> Is it still registering as broken? Still registers as broken. Hmm. How many hit points I need before it's gonna gonna say, yeah, okay, you're okay now. We're piling through my available food supply. It's a pretty fierce clip. Do some, uh, some oatmeal. up to three there we go finally <laughs> a lot of stuff in the area uh so, get item. Peasant flail. We have it in hand. Peasant flail. More importantly. Uh, east. Your shoulder strap, please. Uh, on the ground's fine. Whoa! Hey there, lights. One second.
All right. <laughs> my uh, wire, my, my, my wired lights decided to uh, reset their luminosity on me. Uh, drop. All right, get rid of the splints, and I think the lab coat can go also. We'll have to check our temperature. Yeah, we're okay. All right, so we've got uh, we've got the M4A1 strapped over our shoulder. That's going to be tremendously helpful, and then we can wield the uh, peasant flail as well. Oops. That'll give us some bash capability. <laughs> no more doors resisting my efforts. Hope it's simple to repair. All right, now it's just down to how many hit points do I want before we brave heading into town? I want to take advantage of the moon bonus. Oh, the break message still on. Not sure why it didn't turn off. Doop -doop 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 -doop. There you go. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it would be nice if we could get at least a little bit of healing on that arm. I'm hoping for more than one point a day. So I think I might spend one more day here, or, you know, shuffling around as the zombies randomly find me, uh, trying to get a little bit more hit points on that arm. I just don't want to risk having it break yet again, and then we're going to start getting busy with the, uh, the more useful stuff. We've got a garage to hit to the east there. That should give me all of the welding supplies, welding mask, arc welders, batteries, and such. And then um, down south, we've got a pharmacy to hit, a bookstore to hit, hardware store, craft shop. We'll have okay stuff, but there were a lot of zombies kind of wandering around that area. So we do have accelerated evolution. I started with about three weeks of evolution, and um, now we're 10 days in, so we're a little over four weeks into the normal evolution process. So we are going to have some pretty nasty stuff popping up. And with our hit points, that can get, um, you know, dead real fast. So I'm going to have to start paying a lot closer attention to our dodge value with what I'm wearing. Uh, we still don't have our roller blades. Need to hit some more houses and uh, stores looking for the roller blades. Or start mass killing zombies. With the gun, we now have access to the uh, soldier zombies. I can shoot them at range and back off without too much problem. Let's uh, let's unload that magazine. Not not the magazines. Let's unload the uh, the belt. Yeah, that belt. Still in my inventory. 172 rounds. 172 linkages. Cool. I have no use for the linkages, so you can go. And drop the ammo down there, all but so. We'll just keep a few spare rounds on hand. All right, so yeah, we're gonna spend at least one more day. So it's sun uh, in the morning. Let's um, pass time until seven or eight, then we'll sleep the day away and we'll check what our health is. I think if I can get it up to eight, which I don't think is gonna happen, but um, I'll be happy about that point. 
So, wait a while. Let's go, um... Six hours, 8.45. Yeah. I'm not sure. I've got, what, three bash skill? So... We'll see. We still need to go find the crane style. Ideally crane style for a martial art. That's the closest thematic fit for our character. Alright, let's hit some protein rations. Oh, still thirsty, huh? Alright, now we'll sleep the day away after I throw on a new bandage. And new antiseptic. Best I can do. Poor and average. Oh well. Come on, arm. You can do it. Four, five, six. Oh, we got woke up. <laughs> Bastard zombies. Again. Found me how? Found me through what supposed uh, realistic method? Bunch of damn cheater zombies. You're all a bunch of cheaters. Yeah, we're back down to that shocker section I don't want to be in. And we're not quite healed up either. Actually, firefighter zombie. Let's take our uh, let's take our rifle out for a workout. Please tell me you dropped a fire axe. You did not drop a fire axe. What good are you? Nice to have some options, though. Let's head up this way. Chihuahuas and wild boar. <laughs> Dissolute devourer. We'll come up to the other side of the road. See if it's a little clearer up here. Or the next random zombie tracks me down. Oh, walking into a boomer. Driving into a boomer, I guess, is more accurate. Woodland White. Don't want to be anywhere near them. Those guys are nasty. This will do. All right, we're up to six. Hmm. Food is starting to again become an issue. Get that solved. Uh, let's get some more. And yeah, we still got some water. All right, still nothing to read. Nothing I want to craft. What is focus for? Focus is a multiplier for the XP that you get. So my focus right now is 106. Any action that I take that would get me XP towards a skill, I'd get 106% XP. If focus is 50, I get half XP. If focus is 200, I get double XP. But it's directly a multiplier for your XP for whatever action you're taking. It's based off of the morale value. So depending on what your morale is, your focus is going to trend up or down and um, it drains actively. It's like a used resource. So while you're leveling, you're draining the focus down, and then it'll rebound on its own back up to its equilibrium point. 
Five is bad. Five just means you've been doing something that's been training your focus or training and using your focus. But it is bad, yes. If you go into combat, you're almost always going to drain your focus down to a single digit number really quickly. It's very hard to maintain a focus. The only thing you can really do is whatever you're doing, back off for a while. Rest, read a fun book, listen to some music, play a video game, eat some fun food, let some time pass, and then go back to doing whatever. Yeah, if you're trying to practice swimming and you're down to 5 focus, you're only getting 5% XP for the time that you're spending. So, it's up to you whether you want to just keep getting the top 5% or if you want to go do something else for a little bit and uh, try to let your focus accumulate and then go back and do some more swimming. You just can't consistently level up at full XP forever. You'll always, no matter what you do, find that you're draining your focus when you're actively training or reading or doing anything like that. Um, 17.42. Six health. I would really like one more full night, but I'm tired of just passing time. Let's cook up some rice real quick. Hmm, yeah, that's what I figured. Uh, so, heading into the absolute full moon here pretty quick. I think it's day 75. That's the full, full moon. So we got a couple of days. We got a good nighttime bonus right now. So, we got time. I only need a couple of days of the moon bonus. Just to kind of roll through a town or so. I'm hyper cautious about sending this character actually very far into a town. Because any, any kind of random snafu will just end the run. Especially with things like flesh raptors running around, flying around. So, we are just going to pass the time again. Hey, we made it to overweight. Cool. That's good to know. At least we recovered all of the uh, weight we might have previously lost. But we're back to uh, an equilibrium point. That's awesome. Now we just need to bulk up on some more high caloric food and uh, we'll be good to go. I'm trying to save my pickled fish. So let's just slam down a whole crap load of fruit jam. No happiness value because we're using so much of it, but that's fine. All right, wait another six hours and we'll sleep the day away. Oops. Very poor, poor. All right. As long as it's still on you. Ah, tired. Nine o'clock. Perfect. All right, fresh application of bandages and antiseptic. Hopefully we get to, what, nine? Nine or ten? Then we're going to get moving. That'll be enough 
treading water while we try to get to at least a partially recovered state. I've never been a big fan of pistols in general. I, I don't often consider them. If it's the only thing I find... God dang it, we only made it to eight. <laughs> we didn't even get to nine. Ugh. So bad. So, so bad. So desperately do not. I mean, I can... One hit don't won't generally in my current gear from a standard zombie won't break the limb from 18. But eight is low enough where I... I just don't have that much arm protection. Yeah, almost none. So it's going to be enough to possibly break my my arm in one swing. Yeah, unless it's the first and only weapon I've got, I, I just don't usually use pistols. They have their place and they can be useful, but um, I've just never been a fan. I always tend to gravitate to the rifles. And we are in the full moon bonus, so 72, day 72, we got to the full moon. Hmm. Finish off the cooked rice. Some water. And it flips over to nine. <laughs> That's funny. That close. That'll have to be good enough. I, I don't want to keep uh, keep just hanging out. So we're going to start taking some more risks. Much as it freaks me out. What are we up to skill-wise? Fab is seven, which is plenty high enough to get most of the things done I want. Tailoring, we're just shy on. Six would be optimal. I know we're... Yeah, I got nothing of the right level, so I'd have to go chase down. All right, do it the other way. Level three, not good. Down to the bottom. Kill a bunch of ants. Put together some chitinous gear. There are ants in the area. Hmm, that actually might be worth it for this character this early. I'll have to think about that. Yeah, this is all leather and such. It's pretty hard to uh, put some of this together. Good old hiking backpack. Love to get a hiking backpack. But... Short strings, no problem. Just need basically the tool, the awl, and some leather. Leather's not that big a problem. Well, it is until I can get bolt turning. Need a bone. Bone sewing all. Or a tailor's kit. All right, things to think about. Yeah, we can advance really quickly on our skills with that intelligence. Just got to get, got to get the books. Hopefully that bookstore is kind to us. Hopefully we can get uh, all the welding gear out of the garage. Uh-oh. Other bookstore. I was hoping for a library. We didn't have any, unfortunately, any high spots like radio towers or silos nearby either. Oh, 
All right. Uh, well, I think this right here is a good spot to stop for the night. We're hitting my four-hour point right now, and um, I don't want to head into town and then stop. I'd rather stop clean right here, knowing what we need to do when we come back. Where I want to set up base? What do you mean set up base? What What is this set up base concept of which you speak? <laughs> I am unfamiliar with this setup base phrase. What does that mean? I'm in my base. What are you talking about? We are uh, we are meep meep. We don't have a home base. <laughs> All right, that's it for the night, though. Thanks for watching, everybody. Really appreciate it. As always, thanks for supporting the channel. I'll be back tomorrow with some more streaming. I got some uh, computer work to do, so hopefully I get that done early enough that uh, I'll be online at my normal time tomorrow. So. Hope to catch you then. Otherwise, we'll return on Friday for Cataclysm, and that's all you're here for. And uh, have a great night. Stay safe out there.